the 2014 Tampa Bay's Dance with the Stars. Up next, hello everybody and welcome to Julie Weintraub's Hands Across the Bay Charity presenting the 2014 Tampa Bay's Dancing with the Stars. We have an absolutely incredible evening because we're here at Pepin Hospitality with over 600 people who are going to watch 13 local personalities compete against each other and raise a whole lot of money doing so. So let's get it started and meet some of our competing dancers. From News Channel 8, it's Gail Guayardo and her Federstair dance partner, Raymond Cedeno. From Bush Gardens, it's Jeff Andrews and his dance instructor, Emily Dudash. Check out local philanthropist, Cindy Gruden, as she teams up with dance coach, Rob Rocha. Look out for ABC Action News reporter, Laura Harris, and her dance partner, JJ Harrison. Keep your eye on the founder of Fulfill Your Destiny, Karen Mertes, and her instructor, Ivan Gregoro. Then there's talent coordinator for Michelle and Group, Erin McKinnon, and her partner, David Chancellor. From the Duncan duo, there's Angela Duncan and her dance teammate, Rob Rocha. Look out for Valerie Morales from 92.5 Maxima FM and her partner, Manny Herrera. Keep an eye out for public outreach specialist, Jay Coates, and his dance specialist, Kelly Chancellor. Then, of course, there's Good Life Tampa Bay co-host Colette Meyer and her dance co-host Raymond Cedeno. Be sure you watch out for 10 News traffic anchor Holly Sin and her Fred Astaire teacher Eric Shepard. Check out behavior specialist Kelly Prince and her dance doctor J.J. Harrison. And finally, rounding out the field, it's plastic surgeon Dr. Dana Coberly and her dance partner David Chancellor. There you have it. These are your 13 local personalities along with their Fred Astaire dance partners all competing for the 2014 Tampa Bay's Dancing with the Stars Maribald Trophy. All while raising a lot of funds for great charities through Julie Weintraub's Hands Across the Bay. On this spectacular evening, over 600 people once again have sold out the Pepin Hospitality Center to come out and support Hands Across the Bay. This red carpet black tie affair has grown into one of the biggest and most popular charity events in Tampa Bay. This event sold out months in advance and continues to capitalize on the popularity of the top-rated celebrity TV show Dancing with the Stars on ABC. This event will feature some local business owners, media personalities, and community leaders who are being teamed up with Fred Astaire professional dancers to compete against each other, all while raising money for organizations who desperately need support. Julie Weintraub, along with her Hands Across the Bay charity team, Kirsten Thomas, Dee Manzaris, and Melissa Dome have worked so hard in putting all their efforts towards making this edition of the 2014 Tampa Bay's Dancing with the Stars the best ever. I'm so thankful as I am every year, all these people coming out to support us in this important event, so we are so very, very thankful. Kirsten, Dee, Melissa, Julia Mazza, all of them did an amazing job. I mean, and all these volunteers, Lisa Ferreira, we have so many wonderful people that put this together. I can't name them all. I hate to start saying names because there's a long list of wonderful people. As always, Julie has the backing and support from her husband, Steve Weintraub from the Golden Diamond Source, who helps make this gala one of the hottest and most exciting charity events in Tampa Bay. I can say I still can't believe that they only three or four people put this whole event on. I mean, it really is amazing. If you look around what goes into it and uh, looks like a Hollywood affair here and it's done by th uh, three or four people and uh, my wife heads up the team with Dee, Kirsten and Melissa Dome. Uh, it's just amazing. Steve and Julie can always count on local media TV personalities to come out and lend a helping hand. Once again, emceeing this event from ABC Action News, Linda Hurtado, Jameson Mueller and Don Germais who are all here to give their continuous support. Well, this is the fifth year we've been invited to MC this event, and every year it just gets bigger and better. I'm just noticing out here in the lobby, the silent auction grows every year that we come out here. The grand entrance, every time you come in, every year it gets bigger and bigger, and that's a great sign. That means that this event is growing and growing every single year. It's awesome. But there are so many good charities that benefit, and I was even contacted by a couple of them, one of the ladies from uh, the Kind Mouse. They don't have to hear it why. They don't have to hear anything. You could just come in, and they will give you food to feed your children. These are the kind of charities that Julie is helping. And what's really, really cool is all the people here are willing to reach in their pockets and give just a little bit more to help just a little bit more. And it just makes me feel great inside. Charlie Belcher from Fox and Ashley Glass from ABC Action News were both excited to be part of this event and will be on stage to interview the dancers after their performances. Well, it's Julie's commitment and we just help her with that commitment. And when Julie calls, it's very hard to say no to Julie Weintraub. 
of. Not only is it such a worthy cause, it's a really fun event. I mean, you put on a show. You're coming and seeing a live show with faces you recognize, uh, and it's raising money that Julie is going to make sure it gets to the people who need it most in the Tampa Bay area. Just to look around this room, I mean, look at it. It's packed. There are so many people here and raising money for so many important causes around the Bay Area. This is just an awesome night to see it come together like this year after year. I mean, what an incredible experience. Hey, don't go anywhere. When we come back, the competition's about to start. All right here on this Good Life Tampa Bay special edition of the 2014 Tampa Bay's Dancing with the Stars, brought to you by the Golden Diamond Stores the video production company in the zone tv and health and psychiatry who are giving people hope health and harmony hey do not touch that dial because there's more fun to come from the 2014 tampa bay's dancing with the stars what is your time worth driving by the mall and coming to the golden diamond stores could save you thousands of dollars if you live in new tampa or south tampa don't throw your money away a little drive could save you a lot of money. And you don't need a life jacket to cross the Howard Franklin Bridge. And we have timed it. It's only 10 minutes from Tampa to Golden Diamond Source. And that could save you thousands of dollars. We do it by offering the largest selection of fine diamonds for you to choose from in the entire Tampa Bay area. Get a bigger, better diamond. For less. At the Golden Diamond Source. Dr. Sejan and her team at Health and Psychiatry help guide people back to well-being as they provide an oasis for steady healing of mind and soul with their holistic approach. Their practice is based on hope, health, and harmony. They do have a convenient clear order office. For more information, check out their website at healthandpsychiatry.com or call them at 727-733-6111. Hey, welcome back to Julia Weintraub's Hands Across the Bay presenting the 2014 Tampa Bay's Dancing with the Stars. Now in this segment, we're gonna check out some more of the fun and also the competition's gonna start. Check it out. The energy and excitement here at the 2014 Tampa Bay's Dancing with the Stars is absolutely electric and it's all for a good cause. That's because the money that's raised here this evening will help some very special local organizations who need our support. The beneficiaries are Academy Prep of St. Petersburg, Angels Against Abuse, Housing and Education Alliance, Pepin Academies, The Kind Mouse, Ready for Life, and Voices for Children. That is the main thing, is to be able to spread these funds we've got between Hands Across the Bay and the other charities we pick every year so we can move more effectively help the families that come to us for assistance. The people that Hands Across the Bay have helped this year is just really amazing, and we couldn't do all this without this event. Uh, this is the only event that we have that really raises money for the entire year, so it's very important. The supporters here tonight are tremendous. They've come out to back Julie Weintraub's Hands Across the Bay. great part of this, Hands Across the Bay, is all the money is coming from these folks who are going to enjoy themselves are going to families who have needs. And I think that's wonderful. It is better to lend a couple of glasses when you have it rather than keep collecting it because it opens like a dam when you are done. You know, behind this magnificent event were some special contributions from Fetisteer Dance Studios with their talented dancers. And tonight's venue was held at the spectacular Pepin's Hospitality Center, and Steve and Julie are so appreciative of the continuous support they receive from Tom Pepin. I'm really proud of is, is these wine drops. I mean, they put together an, an amazing event, a lot of charities, a lot of people that they, that they help, and a lot of individuals that we didn't see on the video. And also this event got some incredible support from international fashion designer Maria McGill from Designs to Shine. Check this out. She was the designer in season one of the actual TV show Dancing with the Stars on ABC. She's providing the outfit dancers are wearing this evening, and she's also one of the judges. I think one of the things that we do at Designs to Shine is not only that we specialize in look, but we specialize in feel, you know, because when you're dancing, you want to make sure that everything you do is special and you look amazing and that you feel that you're in a gown. You know, one of the great things about this event is that competing dancers from prior years form an alumni connection to this event and now come back as supporters. I just always look forward to this event. You know, you see some amazing numbers. Of course, you're here to support a great charity and the work that they do in our community, which is wonderful. So you just can't go wrong. It's always a great time. I love Dancing with the Stars. I love Julie Weintraub. I love Hands Across the Bay because every year she celebrates and raises money for local charities that really need it. So I love it. And of course, this TV special could not happen without the TV sponsorship from Dr. Dinar Sejan and Usman Izad from Health and Psychiatry. You know, it's a great event and we have been supporting Julie for the last many years. It's a great cause and Julie is our good friend. And I think it's our moral responsibility to support this great cause and Julie and Steve. I'm so excited. Julie has been a good friend. 
and we have been supporting her for many years and I'm happy to be part of uh, Hamster Across the Bay. All right, I know you've been waiting patiently. Now let's bring you to some of the dance highlights from this evening and show you what the audience and judges saw. Up first, from News Channel 8, it's Gail Guayardo and her Fred Astaire dance partner, Raymond Cedeno, with some high-energy dance coming at you now. Even up till we practiced in the hallway, I was nervous, I was forgetting things. <laughs> I got here, the stage was a lot smaller than we practiced in the sprawling dance room over at Fred Astaire's. And I don't know, I just got out there, we were chit-chatting before we went out there, and I heard them dedicate it to my best friend who was in a terrible accident and almost lost her life. And I thought, you know what, there's so many other important things in life, I'm not going to front this, I'm just going to do it for the cause. We were even talking behind, backstage how well she's been doing and how proud I am of her. <laughs> just every little thing that she has done has made my, myself as an instructor very, very, very proud. Wow, the routine looked pretty awesome to me, but what did the judges think? Fantastic. You know how to demand an audience. Look at me, look at me, look at me. Fantastic job, great smile, very proud of you. With that first dance out of the way, I know Gail must be feeling relieved because the anxiety of waiting is now over. And now all eyes shift to the flashy Jeff Andrews and his dance instructor, Emily Dudash. I had no idea what to think it would be. Um, I, I don't know. The hardest part was probably just getting started, you know, and then and then trusting myself that that I could do it. But uh, but Emily was a wonderful instructor, and she you know put the confidence in me that I could do it. Thank you, thank you for working right. so hard. It was excellent. You it did was good. Great. Um, the most nervous was about 10, 15, 20 minutes before. Waiting. Yeah, okay. right. But the, but in the last two minutes, you know, that was just excitement. It was just you know, it's finally we're going to get it, you know, to do this. When you start jamming and you start going with your hips and you own this girl and you take her and show her what it's about, right. I love that. Great job today. <laughs> On stage now is the always smiling and acrobatic Cindy Gruden and dance coach Rob Rocha. We've done so many dress rehearsals and I'm like, I'm fine. And then I get out there and I'm like, oh, there's 800 people out there. So, But we, we went through it. We got through it. Well, you know, we wanted to definitely show what she could do she's got a little cheerleading a little bit of cheerleading background in her and her size is her size is obviously an asset to us so we wanted to get her up in the air as much as possible oh he's just so encouraging he's like go out there and knock them dead honey go out there and do your best you nailed that routine you had a lot of high energy complicated things in your routine and you nailed each and every one of them congratulations Thank Thank well you. done all eyes and attention now shift to abc action news reporter laura harris and her partner jj harrison i'm happy it's over but i'm really happy we did it for jj he worked so hard so finally we got it right <laughs> a fantastic one she was hard working Always positive, even on the days when she has 50 million things going on at work. We know if they know, we mess up. So, you know, you just try to get it all right. But right before we walked out there, JJ said, just have a good time. And that's what I did. I think, Laura, that was pretty amazing. And I think Michael Jackson would be very proud of you. Yeah. <laughs> I also love the fact that you practiced on the show. Yeah. <laughs> all attention now are on Karen Mertes and her instructor, Ivan Gregoro, having lots of fun. You know, I was actually more nervous in the dress rehearsal when there were very few people around, and I don't really know why. Maybe it's because I took the stage for the first time then, and so tonight I wasn't quite as nervous, and I feel so much support from so many people in the community, and I just channeled all that positive energy. This is like uh, the student dream, <laughs> because she's uh, everything what I ask for. She, she gave it to me, she gave me passion, she gave me technique, she gave me energy, everything, everything what I ask. She's very, very dedicated. It was a pleasure. Your energy was exciting, your smile was infectious, and I really enjoyed it. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, don't go anywhere because things are heating up, and when we come back, this intense dance competition will continue. All right here on this Good Life Tampa Bay special edition of the 2014 Tampa Bay's Dancing with the Stars, brought to you by the Golden Diamond Source the video production company In The Zone TV, and Health and Psychiatry, who are giving people hope, health, and harmony. Hey, don't touch that dial because there's more competition to come from the 2014 Tampa Bay's Dancing with the Stars.
What is your time worth? Driving by the mall and coming to the Golden Diamond stores could save you thousands of dollars. If you live in New Tampa or South Tampa, don't throw your money away. A little drive could save you a lot of money. And you don't need a life jacket to cross the Howard Franklin Bridge. And we have timed it. It's only 10 minutes from Tampa to Golden Diamond stores. And that could save you thousands of dollars. We do it by offering the largest selection of fine diamonds for you to choose from in the entire Tampa Bay area. Get a bigger, better diamond. For less. At the Golden Diamond stores. Hey, welcome back to Julie Weintraub's Hands Across the Bay Charity presenting the 2014 Tampa Bay's Dancing with the Stars. Now in this segment, the competition continues. Check it out. This evening has been absolutely incredible. These 13 local personalities are going all out. Imagine coming up and performing in front of 600 people and a packed audience watching. Talk about the pressure to perform. It wouldn't happen without them, so every year the people who do that, I, I just hope everyone appreciates them. Well, they see them out in the community because they're the ones that help make this event happen every year. And it's all for charity. You know, they don't get anything out of this. They're doing it out of the goodness of their heart to raise money for Hands Across the Bay, which we really appreciate. All right, let's get back to the competition as we check out the smooth style of Erin McKinnon and her dance partner, David Chancellor. went by so fast. I was so nervous and uh, dreading going on that stage and now it's it's over and I want to go back. One of the best students I've ever had. Um, you know she understands what it takes in terms of practice and the effort that you have to put forth to memorize a routine so well that you can do it you know blindfolded backwards and that sort of thing so it was really nice to you know have somebody who understood how many hours you have to put into it to make it come off. When I started, I was confident, and then I, I looked out at the audience and I was like, oh crap, what if I forget my dance? <laughs> and then, so, just so many thoughts going through my head, but as soon as I let it go and just said, have a good time, have fun, it, it was a blast. I've been dancing for 27 years, and you did that in two or three weeks, this is no fire. Absolutely love it. Wow, now that's going to be a tough act to follow as we check out Angela Duncan and her dance teammate Rob Rocha as they do a slow and sexy dance. It was definitely a lot harder, but having a phenomenal partner, Rob, is, has been amazing and really helped me get through everything. She was amazing. She, she puts her whole heart and soul into it, and she didn't have any problem with making herself vulnerable because this is not in her comfort zone at all. And every time she came in, she gave 110%. Well, first off, my husband nominated me, so I didn't go voluntarily. Yes, he will be here next year. I've already told him that. Um, but I think really my daughter, she's so proud of me that I was able to get up and do this and just keep thinking about her. You've got a great softness about you, which matched the the song perfectly. Thank so congratulations. You. Now it's time for the fiery Valerie Morales and her partner Manny Herrera. You have to trust your partner and your instructor because at the end of the day, if something does happen, like it did, because my my dress got caught in in my shoe, and I knew that he had my back. All I had to do is follow him, and it was going to be fine. She was very talented. She was. Um, I'm very pushy. I tried my best to get her to the next level, and she. She did. No, it, it is a lot of rehearsals. It's a lot of moving your life around to be able to get to the rehearsals, to be able to do a good show tonight. So at the end, I really found inspiration in what we were dancing for. And you're actually doing something where you want to invite me to dance. I'm on it. And that's what you just did tonight. You want Thank me to you. get out there and dance just like you. Up next, it's Jay Coates, the matador, and his dance specialist, Kelly Chancellor. I wanted to uh, just run before we went on, but um, <laughs> I did it and it felt good. Missed a couple little steps, but you know, I had a great dance partner that just went uh, over here. I'm um, 100% all the time, just always trying to be better. He practiced all the time. He practiced by his pool. He practiced in his pool. He practiced. <laughs> by accident, just... by the way, that was by accident. <laughs> but no, he just worked so hard. He put so much into it, heart and soul. So I'm so proud of him. This is just another step of helping out somebody else. It's that pay it forward idea. I see some pros that don't hit the lines that you hit tonight. That was very, very good. All right, let's see now Colette Meyer and her dance co-host, Raymond Cedeno, deliver a fast-paced performance. The experience 
was fun. It was amazing. We we laughed laughed a lot. We you know goofed off a lot, and that was in the beginning. Then when it started getting a little <laughs> closer, we're like, wait a minute, I actually have to start really learning this dance right now. Down. Yeah. Oh my god. We gotta nail What's this going dance. On? <laughs> Hurry up. What are we waiting for? <laughs> we had a lot, lots, lots, lots of fun dancing together. <laughs> Right there at the end, she started freaking out, calling me. What are you doing? <laughs> what is my lesson? We need to get this. <laughs> but as, as overall, we had had the most amazing experience together. New friends. I would like to first of all say, besides you're beautiful, you're gorgeous, and you look fantastic, and your costumes, and what you did with the dancing, great. All eyes now are on the high energy of Holly Sin and her Fetisteer teacher, Eric Shepard. It was amazing to prepare and to go out there and um, really just, I guess, put out there what we worked so hard to do. Um, but now that it's over, I think I'm, I'm glad and, and the adrenaline's going to wear off and I'm just going to be really tired. <laughs> she was a blessing. Um, she understood everything pretty much from the first time the idea came out of my head and went into her body. It just kind of happened like a flash, so she was very, very easy. One of those things that I think is really important is to always be brave and always take a chance. If you feel passionate about it, take a chance because it's worth it and it's, we did something great for a great cause tonight. I especially love how you hold your arms and your hand styling. Very, <laughs> very you. well done. Hey, don't go anywhere. When we come back, there's only a few more couples left to dance, and we're going to find out who the dance champion winner will be on this Good Life Tampa Bay special edition of the 2014 Tampa Bay's Dancing with the Stars, brought to you by the Golden Diamond Source, the video production company In the Zone TV, and Health and Psychiatry, bringing you hope, health, and harmony. Hey, don't touch that dial because there's more competition to come from the 2014 Tampa Bay's Dancing with the Stars. What is your time worth? Driving by the mall and coming to the Golden Diamond Stores could save you thousands of dollars. If you live in New Tampa or South Tampa, don't throw your money away. A little drive could save you a lot of money. And you don't need a life jacket to cross the Howard Franklin Bridge. And we've timed it. It's only 10 minutes from Tampa to Golden Diamond Stores. And that could save you thousands of dollars. We do it by offering the largest selection of fine diamonds for you to choose from in the entire Tampa Bay area. Get a bigger, better diamond. For less. At the Golden Diamond Stores. Dr. Sejan and her team at Health and Psychiatry help guide people back to well-being as they provide an oasis for steady healing of mind and soul with their holistic approach. Their practice is based on hope, health, and harmony. They do have a convenient Clearwater office. For more information, check out their website at healthandpsychiatry.com or call them at 727-733-6111. All right, welcome back to Julie Weintraub's Hands Across the Bay presenting the 2014 Tampa Bay's Dancing with the Stars. In our final segment, we have a few more competing dancers and we're gonna finally find out who the Maribel Trophy winner is. Check it out. You know, this evening has been absolutely perfect. These local personalities have done a great job entertaining us all while raising a lot of money. In fact, Julie Weintraub just let me know that tonight's charity event will net a total of $220,000 raised. That's right, you heard me, $220,000. This is a powerful testament to ABC, Fox, Bright House, and all the supporters, sponsors, pulling together to make this such a successful event. It's been unbelievable. Our media support this year has been unbelievable. I mean, from uh, ABC Action News to 10 News, CBS to um, WFLA Channel 8, um, th Fox 13, uh, CBS Radio, Cox Radio, Clear Channel, which is now iHeartMedia, you name it, they've all stepped up and gone above and beyond to cover this event and so many other radio stations. So this community and the media partners in this community have been absolutely invaluable. This year, every year, we, we gain more momentum, we get more and more sponsors, and uh, you know, uh, Tom Pepin has been so good to us, uh, allowing us to have the event here in this wonderful place and uh, never disappoints. So we're very, very grateful to all our sponsors. What an incredible job from Julie Weintraub's Hands Across the Bay Charity in doing this event. And kudos to Julie and Steve Weintraub, Kirsten Thomas, Dee Manzaris, and Melissa Dome, who worked so hard in putting this event together. All this is a powerful testament to all the supporters, sponsors, all pulling together to make this a successful event. All right, now let's head back to the competition with the high-flying Kelly Prince and her dance doctor, J.J. Harrison. 
know, I've watched the show Dancing with the Stars, and to me, it's just so exciting. And I think it's fun for, you know, a little bit older. We don't have many, you know, hobbies and things. So I just thought it would be something fun to do. So good at applying and feeding, uh, feeding back. Actually saying, okay, well, I like this. This is good and actually having a communication line open between the two of us. It certainly was more of a time commitment than I had thought it was, but um, certainly it paid off. Kelly, I think that was superb. Not only that you did the acrobatics amazingly, but the transition into the dancing was also really, really good. And finally, our last competitor of the night. Time for a rodeo with Dr. Dana Coberly and her dance partner, David Chancellor. I had a great time. Um, Dave's a great instructor, and um, the every lesson was fun, um, and it's inspired me to keep dancing. She's a wonderful student. Uh, we had uh, a lot of fun on her lessons. We had good chemistry working together. She was very easy to teach, so I really enjoyed every time she came in working on her dancing, making it better. I learned about uh, several new small charities in town and hands across the bay in general. I didn't really know what Julie was doing, so I'm really impressed by that. You had the rhythm in it, your feet looks great, all the twists, you did great. I love that. Thank you. Thank you. All right, after all the dance lessons and all the great fundraising efforts, and after the spectacular performances from these 13 local personalities, here are the 2014 Tampa Bay's Dancing with the Stars category winners. Most online votes goes to Karen Mertes. The People's Choice Award goes to Cindy Gruden. Jay Coates brings home the Best Male Dancer Award. Best Female Dancer goes to Valerie Morales. All right, now here are your top three. Third place runner-up is Holly Sin. Second place goes to Gail Guayardo. And this year's 2014 Grand Champion taking home the Mirabal Trophy is Erin McKinnon and her Fred Astaire dance partner, David Chancellor. No expectations at all. Um, I just went in and wanted to have fun and meet new people and learn something new. It just makes it that much better. I'm just absolutely elated. I have fun here every year, but this just takes it one step above. Wow, what a memorable record-breaking evening. Over $220,000 raised for charities. This is indeed what the event is all about, and that's what Julie Weintraub's Hands Across the Bay Charity makes happen every day here in the Tampa Bay community. We all can't wait till next year's event. Thank you so much, everyone in the whole Tampa Bay community for helping support Hands Across the Bay and Tampa Bay's Dancing with the Stars. Julie and myself would like to thank all of Tampa Bay for supporting us in this great event tonight, Tampa Bay's Dancing with the Stars. We love you guys. Thanks for all your support. Wow, what an absolutely incredible evening. These 13 local personalities, they went all out and raised a whole lot of money doing it. From the Pepin Hospitality Center here for the 2014 Tampa Bay's Dancing with the Stars for Good Live Tampa Bay, I'm H. John Mejia. Hey, be sure you get involved and support Julie Weintraub's charity by checking out handsacrossthebay.org. That's handsacrossthebay.org.